So today we're gonna make this fraisier. It's my version of fraisier. It's really nice, perfect for summer, you know, when it's hot, and you want a little cake for the afternoon. Um, so yeah, should we make it? Let's do it. Okay, so I've done some strip of uh, parchment paper to go into my uh, ring. So this ring is slightly bigger than the Genoise sponge. So you'll be able to um, pipe some mousse around the sponge so you won't see the sponge. The sponge is here. I cut it in half, all right? And the sides has broken a bit because I was impatient when I unmolded it from the mold. It was still hot. Anyway, it's done now. So I'm gonna make a syrup uh, with kirsch alcohol. You can avoid putting any alcohol, but it's nice to have a syrup to soak the sponge with. So it makes nice and juicy. So I've got a syrup here. It's made, <clears throat> if you want to do it for this recipe, you will use uh, 200 gram of uh, sugar and 400 gram of water, which you're gonna boil it together and let it cool down and once it's cold you can use it and from this syrup so you get uh, 600 gram there yeah? so 600 gram of syrup with 10% kirsch alcohol so this is the alcohol from cherry and it's delicious, it goes very well with the strawberry. Mm. Not too much. So we're gonna put the first sponge inside there. Genoise, yeah. And we're gonna soak the sponge yeah, with the syrup very well on the sides, in the middle, everywhere. That should be enough. By the touch, it feel it feel wet, but not too much because you don't want to suck it too much. Yeah. Okay. So piping bag. I'm gonna put a round nozzle inside. I'm gonna start to pipe the mousse. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put it on the edge. So we won't be able to see the Genoise here when we unmold it. So right around the edge. So that's why the ring is slightly bigger than the mold we used for to bake the sponge in. There. Now, you see how it's like? Okay, so we're just gonna remove the stem. Be nice to pick the same size strawberry so it's nice and level. Because this one's gonna go all around the cake. And it'd be so pretty. Just a half, yeah? Up. Those guys, we're gonna place them against the ring like that. Yeah, all around. I'm 
Okay, and the last one, which I trimmed so it fits perfectly. Voila, and now we're gonna put some mousse. them right to the top of the strawberries yeah in between fill up the base and here inside we're gonna put lots of little pieces of strawberries yeah I'm gonna cut the strawberries like that There are little chunks of strawberries yeah, inside the cake. At this stage, you can add raspberries, fresh fruits, anything you like. Oh, just keep it strawberry so this is enough strawberry it's plenty actually right, let's finish this one there and you press them inside the mousse yeah press it down then we're gonna put another layer of mousse to stick the other sponge it down inside there. okay and now we're gonna put some syrup again on top This one you can put a little bit more syrup than the based one because it's on top. There we go. I haven't totally finished the syrup, so the quantity might be a bit too much actually. You can reduce it down. And now we're gonna put the mousse all around again so we don't see the sponge. Let it in the fridge for it to set and we will finish the top. Okay, so this has been uh, in the fridge for a few hours. I'll put it on the card. Okay, let's try to. Uh, we just want to warm it up quickly. Just to lose it, uh, to lose the rain a bit. <laughs> the bottle of gas is new, that's why. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. Okay, let's remove the paper. There we go. Ah, uh, 
is beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna wait our Italian meringue to pipe on top, yeah? Right, so now we've got some Italian meringue. We're gonna... So, classic. Usually this cake is finished with a thick uh, marzipan, colored marzipan or not colored, but, and that's the classic. But I like with Italian meringue, so it creates even much more lightness, you know, it's, it's very light. And to replace the taste of the almond on top, I'm gonna put some flaked almond all around. So you'll still have some almond flavor, yeah? So, just gonna put a little bit of meringue here to stick the flaked almond. It should stick in the mousse, but just to make sure, yeah? Rusted flecked almond. I will remove the excess after. Bad. And then Italian meringue on top, yeah. Then a little caramelize. Mais voilà. Puis strawberry for decoration. There we go guys, so um, you got to try it because it's a fantastic cake. So light, beautiful, juicy, fruity, perfect for summer. So all the best guys and see you soon, yeah? Bye bye.